Hello, welcome to St Margaret's Church in Ditchling. We have created an amazing life-size nativity scene and we'd love to invite you to come and visit, to come and have a look. So why don't you follow me and we'll go inside and we'll show you what we've created. My name's David, I'm the vicar here, and you join me in what is normally the side chapel of the church. But as you can see, we've created here a walk-in barn for this life-size nativity scene. These have been recreated by a, a smaller nativity scene painted by a local artist, Jonathan Skelton. And to help you understand a bit more about that, let me just tell you about the origins of the nativity scene because the very first nativity scene was created by St Francis of Assisi in about 1220. And he said to his friends, the local villagers, bring your animals, bring your costumes and meet me at a cave just outside the village because we're going to make a real life nativity scene. Now all the villagers around heard about this and many people came to see and they loved what Francis and his friends created. And word spread across Italy and to countries beyond. And before you knew it, in many places they were making nativity scenes, not from real people, but out of figures. Now when Jonathan painted this scene, he remembered that story of St Francis. And you'll see that he's even incorporated over here a shepherd who is dressed in Franciscan robes, the robes that St Francis and his followers wore. In the middle, of course, we have... Mary holding Jesus and Jesus is engaged in uh, um, looking at this wise man, magi, a king, kneeling here presenting the gift of gold. Behind the king the donkey and behind the donkey a second king offering the gift of myrrh. This king is representing uh, coming from the countries of Asia. Behind him uh, a very fine shepherd indeed and Next to Mary there, we have Joseph, looking really rather tired, actually, not surprising after his long journey. Joseph is there to represent, we think, a link with the Old Testament. He reminds us of figures like Moses and Elijah, and he's even holding a, a staff, a stick, that Moses would have used to part the Red Sea. And it shows us that Joseph is that, that hinge between the Old Testament and the New that begins with Jesus. And to the left of Joseph, another king, bearing the gift of frankincense, a word for incense. Incense is burnt and it shows our prayers rising up to heaven. Uh, because of course Jesus is a king, but he is the son of God also. And that's what we're celebrating at Christmas. I'll show you also up on the roof our wonderful angel Gabriel bearing the sign of peace, bringing this message for the shepherds to come and see, come and see what's happened. Come and follow that star to the place where Jesus is born. And we want to share exactly the same message with you. Come and see, come and experience this life-size nativity scene. While you're here, there are a couple of other things for you to see in the church as well. And I'd like to show them to you just now. So here we have our Christmas tree. We have a Christmas tree every year and we invite visitors and people who come for services to write a prayer or a message of hope and to tie it to the tree. The tree is decorated with beautiful Christmas lights but its decoration isn't complete until our prayers cover this tree. So while you're here, having looked at that nativity scene and, and really uh, taken the opportunity to to allow the story of Christmas to soak in. You can come along and uh, make your own message, write your own prayer and put it on our tree. We'd, we'd love you to leave that with us. But also, uh, you may have noticed on the way in to the nativity scene, the original set, and I'll just bring you back around here.
here we have the scene that Jonathan made about 30 years ago. And uh, these figures are between 9 and 12 inches high, uh, beautifully painted and depicting everything uh, so splendidly. Amanda, who lives in Ditchling, has photographed these, and that's how we were able to make the life-size figures. You'll notice also around the church various boards, and they are displays telling you all sorts of background of history and information about the development of nativity scenes, about the story of Christmas, what we read about in the different parts of the Bible. There's a little bit about the history of carol singing and all sorts like that. So once again, let me say to you how thrilled we would be if you can find the time to come along and visit. The church is open all day, every day. It's really safe. We've got clear guidelines about sanitising and just uh, registering. And, uh, and then you're, you're more than welcome to take as long as you like to come and explore. Well, we look forward to seeing you and may God give you every blessing this Christmas.